Hello Dreamers, welcome back to my channel for a new explosive tutorial. Today I want to show you how I apply physics in my projects. Animations in rig, not frame by frame. This is because Dreams, with the tools that it provides us, allow us to create really interesting things. And the software engine renders in real time what we want to move and so, well, it will be very easy to make everything explode. To create realistic scenes we need to understand how to use physics. The stones you see jumping up and then falling to the ground have correct dynamics and timing. In the next tutorials I will explain how I created my little movie about Super Mario. If you haven't watched it yet, run and do it. <laughs> but before we get to those tutorials, we will do this exercise on physics because in some parts of the film I use it and so it will be easier for you to understand some dynamics. I recommend you watch the video till the end if you are interested. Before starting the tutorial I ask you to subscribe to the channel, activate the bell so you don't miss anything. Put like and comment. Thank you. Today's tutorial is very simple, but I'm sure it will be very useful in your projects. What I want to explain to you is the physics behind the little sequence. This rock is composed of separate layers first of all. When you go to draw the elements you need, they will have to be separated, so that each part can move independently from the others. But let's see how to create this effect with the correct use of physics. The first factor that we must take into consideration is that each element moves or rather, as in this case, jumps and falls in a different way. First of all, based on its weight. These two elements, for example, will move differently precisely because they have different weights and sides. Now I'm going to zoom out a bit. Smaller elements move faster than larger. But here you can also notice an error that I wanted to add to make you understand the concept better. That stone goes too high compared to the others. This is to make you understand that we must be consistent when we create a scene like this. All the elements must have correct physics to make it have harmony in the movement. Expanding the move and scale keyframes we find this. I'm going to move the stone down to this point in the timeline. As you can see now everything is realistic and coherent, but how to apply this method in the right way with the Dreams tools? First thing, I hide the elements. I will leave one to start with to make you understand better. Ok, let's say let's start with this. How to get this realistic movement? To make this stone jump and fall to the ground, I worked on the X and Y axis on the scale and rotation. For example, if I remove the keyframe of Y at this point, the stone moves and resides towards the left. This is the first animation I added. First of all I want to understand where the stone will be once it falls to the ground and it will have a reduced size as if it feel farther back than the shape in the center. This is to give a little depth to the scene. But let's redo the animation from zero. I add a keyframe where I want the rock to be at the end of the jump. Move to the left and resize. At this point I expand the coordinates. Before blowing up the stone I add another animation. 
the rock while jumping rotates. For a more correct physics, in this case the shape must rotate counterclockwise. Important thing, trend the curve to linear. I want the rotation movement to be constant. Obviously, nothing prevents us in this case from using different curves. Here he's in. Next animation to add is the jump upwards. Here instead it will be very important to choose the right trend curve. In the center between the two keyframes I add a point on the Y axis and I move the stone upwards. But we can notice that the movement as it uh, is not realistic. For now, here we have as the trend curve is in and out. And here too. As a first test, I change the curves to linear and see what happens. If you notice, the movement itself is not bad, but at this point the stone changes direction in an unnatural way. How to avoid this problem? Let's try modifying the first curve on easy out. I want the stone to jump up quickly. And here he's in. As you can see the movement appears fluid and continuous and above all with the correct physics. The stone crashes to the ground. We need to add a small bounce. This will help to understand where the ground is, even if, as in this case, there isn't. <laughs> the falling rock could also break into a thousand pieces. But for today I just want to make you understand how to connect the physics to the scene, to make it realistic, so that the viewer perceives that everything that happens on the screen is connected. Let's add the keyframe very close to the last keyframe on the Y axis, and another keyframe farther on without moving anything for now. In the center we move the stone a little upwards, like this, see how it bounces. Take your time. In a very simple way, we added the correct physics in our animation. Here, the sequence is quite slow down, but obviously, after you have learned the method, you can apply it at any speed. If I go to turn another element back on, do you see how the stones jump and draw a real arch? Using few coordinates but using the right trend curves, we can add physics in our projects in a realistic way. With differences in rotation we can diversify this physics. This stone seems lighter and rotates faster than this one. Other stones such as this one which rotates very quickly and has an elongated shape. In this case, instead, look at that rock on the left, it can't make a complete turn. But I added a little rotation at the moment of the bones. As before, we find rotation keyframes after the crash. Rotation and rebound. Really interesting, what do you think? What we have seen today is a small exercise that will be useful to better understand the physics that governs bodies. But learn to make this system yours and use it in your projects. It will make them much more attractive. As I was telling you, this is a little appetizer of what we will see in the next tutorials. Let me know what you think and if you want to further explore this topic or what your relationship with physics in your projects. Thank you so much for watching. And...